Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm in a different location today. I'm at my mother's house. Here's my little baby pallet I have. Um, I'm really short on collars and brushes. So, <laughs> and I don't have any liquid white, not even in the sky today. And I got this little tiny easel right here. We're just gonna do the best we can do. Uh, my mother got sick this week and I'm helping her out. And we're just gonna have to do the best we can do with what we have to work with. And so for now I'm putting in some sky. I might even have to set this pallet down and hold my easel. I'm putting in some sky and I've got to scrub it in because there is no liquid white on here. None whatsoever. I have no Prussian blue and no raw umber today. But as I said, we're just going to do what we can do. I feel feel blessed just to be able to do this. I haven't had an extra set of lights and stuff like that. And that really, and I bought them just for this reason, because my mom's kind of getting up there in the years, so to speak. And I knew she was having some issues. So I bought extra lights and stuff just so I can do this. Show must go on, right? But I usually have liquid white in my sky, but I can, and I had some here and I can't find it. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to try to make this sky lighter as we come down. This is a barn. This is going to be a barn painting. This is really all I have sketched out that's fairly decent. And, you know, I like painting barns anyway. But yeah, there's a big difference when you don't have any liquid white in the sky. But it can still be done. It can still be done. Let's see, let's bring it on down here. Yeah, this is a pretty, this is a long barn I got here today. This barn's typically, is a little longer than what I would typically paint. All right, I'm back. I've been struggling with my palette and my, uh, <laughs> and my collars and all that. I changed my mind about this barn. It's not going to be red. Um, it's going to be brownish, blackish. It's going to be an old bluish, that type of barn. The reason is I don't have all my collars here and the reds, I need different type, different colors of red and I don't have it. But I brought you back because I'm doing some grass now. I am going to start, I've already done a little bit, right? I mean, I, this is just the base. This is not the actual grass. But a lot of you have seen me do this before and that's okay. Because a lot of you haven't. But I just like, um, let's see, I want a line, I want the sun. Yeah, we'll work on that in a minute. I'll go ahead and make, just put this in for now. Cause I, I, all I really want to do today is get color on the canvas. Let's take a little ochre. A little more ochre. Let's take, I don't have Prussian blue, so let's take some green and thalo blue and mix it up. Cause it, it's kind of dark. Cause it's getting closer to you, you want it to be darker. Green and thalo blue. You can even put a lizard and crimson in, I think I will. Since I got a bunch of it here. I'll throw some here in this corner too and mix it up here in a minute. That's a, that makes it really nice blue and red make purple. And you want it dark down here anyway. Purple's fine. And then I'm gonna take a one inch brush and then I'm gonna mix it up. Like I said, I'm in a different environment. I'm out of my element today. So you just have to kind of bear with me. I just wanted something to paint so I don't run out of paintings. Cause I try to post one every three days and I'm running low. <laughs> and I do not like to run low. I like to paint ahead. Running low is not good. 
And I'll just mix this up over here. And I'm going to put a road right here. Uh, a little bit of a road. Let me get some of this off my brush. Let's make this kind of green. I want a shadow to be hitting a lot of this right here. This should be darker here. I want the sun to be hitting this. I want this side brighter. I want the sun or the light, whatever you want to call it, coming down from the upper right. So that should be a little darker, and actually this should be too. So we'll take a little blue and throw it in there. I'll probably wipe it. I'll wipe the barn off. I'll probably wipe all this off so I can keep painting for a while. I always say to use shop towels, and if you don't have shop towels, use paper towels. Well, I don't have any shop towels, so I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I'm using paper towels and I'm wiping things off. Let's go ahead and do put some collars in for the road real quick. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to start here. Yellow ochre. Put some white. Um, yeah, it don't hurt nothing. Put a little white in here. Um, I don't have any burnt sienna either. I just thought about that. I like using burnt sienna in a lot of my stuff. But we got very basic collars. And we're going to do what we can do, and that's it. This is burnt umber. Burnt umber. You want it darker on this edge. Take a little. A little red put in there. A little blue. Mm, a little more brown. And I am just going to go ahead and stir all this up and wipe this down. And then I'll be back. All right, this is still the same day. I went ahead and put this tree in. This is going to be grass. I haven't completed this yet. And up in this corner here, I couldn't decide if I want a tall tree or just kind of have branches sticking out. I, I'm not sure. Um, for now, let's just have some. I just have branches sticking out. I, I don't know. Just make random branches, like as if there is a tree to the left of this painting. I mean, I could always bring a small tree up. I might just do that as, I, as I'm doing it. <laughs> It don't have to be a big tree, just something. Just a little something, but I want branches sticking out here. We'll stick the branches out as far as we want, and then we'll adapt, make the tree as big as we want. Because I want the branches to come out, you know, not super far, but far enough to where it makes makes it look like something's going on here. And I'll throw a few leaves on there. I don't want too many, I don't think. Just make it just a touch wider, not much. Just a touch. I just want something going on. That's pretty. 
probably okay. This is still wet, the sky up in here. That's probably okay. I'll just put a few leaves on that when the time comes. Let's go ahead and put some posts in. Like I said, I don't have a lot of collars, but I think I'm going to use a little brown, a little black. You always got to have posts. Always. Got to have posts. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many we really need. Let's put one there. And this grass, I just put it in. It's real wet. Let's put one here. Let's make this one a little cockeyed. Got to have cockeyed posts. Oh, let's bring this one kind of like that. They should be getting a little bigger. A little bit bigger as they get closer. All right, I am here. Put in, I'm trying to get some color on these trees. Let me find my paper towel I was holding here. And I'm going to take a little, little brown, which is burnt umber, little red. Throw in this tree right here. I don't have all my collars here with me, so I'm just going to, we're going to do whatever we can do. And get this painting finished. Probably a little more brown. I got a little bit too much red on there just then. That's okay. We we'll cover it up if we need to. Just trying to blend it up. We're going to make these are leaf trees, obviously. They're going to um, do the comma stroke thing on them. Let me come over here and trying to make sure I got everything done before I hit hit the blue. I want some blue in this, obviously. That's my shadow collar. This tree here should have a few leaves, not a ton. Let's get into some blue. I don't have Prussian blue, so I'm going to take some phthalo blue, mix it with some black. And we will start right here. And I'm going to highlight whatever I can with this collar. I like Prussian blue typically, but this will this will probably work. Just run it down the back side for a nice shadow. Anywhere you think there might be a shadow. Thalo blue and black. All the way down. You know, just hit what, what's going to be showing. I don't think a lot of this will be showing. It's going to have leaves on it. And I'll just kind of blend it up best I can. But you don't want a straight line. Just blend it up. This will be our shadow. Yeah, it don't look too bad. I think it's probably ready for some leaves. And I'll come over here and do the same thing over here. Run this down the back side. Kind of blend it up a little. Put a little bit on the this right here. Can't leave the branches out. May not need a bunch, but you need some. Probably put leaves on the rest of that. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do these posts. 
while the camera's rolling. I'm just putting this, putting some white down the where the sun is going to be coming down, which is this direction. I actually took this white and put it on the outside of the post to make them a little wider. Let's go ahead and do this one again. Let's take some yellow ochre. Throw on it. We'll have to run over these posts again, but at least we're getting collar down. Let's take a little phthalo blue, a little black. Run it down the back side. Get rid of the straight line. And we'll keep working on that here in a little bit. But I just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to start putting some leaves up in here, I believe. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and put some highlights. I got two colors on here. I got my base, my mid-tone, and let's do some highlights. Mid-tone is just yellow and green. The base is more, it's kind of blackish. So let's go ahead and I'm just, this is pure cad yellow light. This is all real wet. And we're just throwing it. Throwing it where we think the sun, the sun should be coming down this way. So we're just, kind of, I'm being a little more careful when I put this in. You know, the other stuff I just kind of do the comma stroke. But I want to be a little more careful where this goes. And I'm wiping my brush off because I'm picking up all kinds of things. Oh, let's put some right here. I really load this brush up. Oh, let's put a little bit here. We're going to say the sun is coming through hitting this. You just got to use your imagination where you think the sun will be hitting. You don't have to be perfect. This is a this is a tree. The sun can come through any kind of area, so you don't have to be perfect with it. Sun's probably hitting this right in here. Cause it's sticking out. Just keep wiping your brush off. I'm probably hitting in here somewhere. Maybe a little down in here. Stand back and take a look at it every once in a while. Probably hitting this. Yeah, hopefully I'll be going home today and I don't have to paint here at my mother's house. I just don't have all my stuff. These brushes are, I'm just finding brushes to use. And very difficult when you're out of your environment. To me, it is anyway. Yeah, this is just a little calming tree. It's not, I don't have any kind of crazy 
collars going on it or nothing today. I think I will make this a little brighter on this edge. There needs to be a little bit more something going on over here. A little bit more. All right, I've been working here a little bit, of course. Still got a lot of work to do. Still got to finish working on these posts. Got to work on the roof a little more. Got to do a little trimming. Got to put some shadows in, but we're, we're wrapping it up. We're getting closer. We're going to work on this straw right here right now. I'm going to take a little brown, little yellow ochre. I'm going to try to put some collar down. It don't look like it's wanting to take it too well, does it? There we go. There we go. This is just mainly ochre here. Brown was too dark, apparently. And we're just going to mix collars up. This is yellow ochre. We're going to start with this. This is still a little wet. This is probably, I'm back home now. I was at my mother's painting this and I brought her home to finish it. Um, still a little, I'm trying to think how many days it's been. Maybe two, maybe two days. Um, this is the center. I'm just going to kind of whip some collar in. I want to be able to keep the edge so I know where it is. Oh, let's take a little, blah, 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 blah. how about some sienna? You know, Bales of Straw got lots of different collars in it. I'm going to have to go over this again, though. I, I can tell you that. I'll see how wet this is. Nothing's sticking. But tomorrow we should be able to finish it up. I definitely want it darker here at the bottom. Definitely darker here at the bottom area, even darker than that. Let's put a little brown in here. Um, this is raw umber. Let's see if, I, yeah, it's a little darker. You want it kind of dark down in here. Tomorrow we'll put our final touches on it. Um, let's take a little, I don't know, this is tan. Let's see, I have some tan left over here. I don't know, let's see what this looks like for the front. We'll have a little black circle there in the middle. Still a little white. A little bit of white on top. I'm just packing the paint on. <laughs> it's so wet. But you see, I'm kind of giving it a. This is one of those circle bells. So as I'm brushing it down, I'm trying to make little circles. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. I like this barn. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.